since is you what have revolutionized the taxi industry there and elsewhere. Tell us a little bit about your master plan. Sure, sure. So we've basically reshaped the taxi industry. Now we're the dominant player, uh, 10 to 15x bigger than the next guy. And uh, what we hope to do is just retain and, of course, really with this new funding, grow the leadership even more. And the new funding you talk about, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, $15 million in Series B funding led by Singapore, uh, Sing Silicon Valley firm, rather, GGV Capital. How significant is this latest round of funding for you? It's, it's actually very significant. Uh, they are great partners. They've uh, not only brought capital to the table, but they've also brought a lot of new talent, uh, tech talent, and just working with us because they understand the local dominance and the understanding of locality and relevance of this market. And being included in this round of funding significant because other global names in the portfolio here include Alibaba, Square, Flipboard. This includes you among their ranks. Mm -hmm. This obviously is a statement that um, mm -hmm. uh, they see growth potential for your service across the Asia Pacific. And it's a very unique Asian mm -hmm. service. Talk about how you differentiate yourselves mm -hmm. from, say, Uber. Sure. So think about it this way. We work with local governments, so very close to uh, the LTA of Singapore, the LTFRB, the Prime Minister's Office in Malaysia, uh, the local police in Thailand. So our goal is to really work with the locals, uh, with a local team, with the local infrastructure. So think about it like a, like a tech layer on top of this that basically optimizes and builds all the safety and efficiency in the system, hence a much lower cost per acquisition. Now, 600 million people at issue here in Southeast Asia, that's a huge growth potential. Mm -hmm. Where do you see the most, the most mm -hmm. promise in terms of the markets you're working right now? I think this region is really exploding. If you look at Thailand, Vietnam, Philippines, all these markets are growing super fast. If you look at just the smartphone growth uh, and you use that as a proxy. So for us, we leverage on the smartphone growth we, le we leverage on the 3G, 4G networks. So really this whole region is uh, the baby China, as they say, and it's, it's growing very, very fast. And we are actually, uh, last month, for example, we grew 38% month on month. 38%, that's very impressive. Now, what strikes me is that uh, this service it varies based on where the service is offered. So like a Uber, for example, Uber, you need to sign up with a credit card. But it's clear that not a lot of people mm -hmm. in this part of the world necessarily have credit cards. Mm -hmm. So how do you address that mm -hmm. customer base that can't exactly pay with a standard Visa, Master, or Amex card, for example? So if you think about it, it's a cash economy. So out of 600 million people, a small fraction only has a credit card. So what we, we actually were the first to build in a prepaid model. So instead of monetizing from the passenger, we actually monetize from the driver. And 90% uh, of this market all runs on a prepaid mobile telco system. So we understood that. We understood proven models, and we worked with a proven model, and now driver just comes up to any of our gas stations, to the, the partners that we work with, and they, and they buy prepaid credit. And with that prepaid credit, it comes on a mobile wallet, and then a commission is taken off that for every ride. And before we go here, Anthony, any acquisitions you can tell us about? Any new partners you'll be signing up uh, shortly, or new countries within the region you'll be expanding to? So it goes back to being local with a local team. We partner with very local partners. So in Singapore, we partner with M1 in Philippines, Globe. Uh, we partner with AirAsia in Thailand. Uh, we partner with a local bank, CIMB. So again, very, very strong regional champions, very, very strong with a local flavor. And uh, that's how we intend to continue the dominance of this region.